I'm going to teach you how to paint for leadership. Painting for leadership is different than traditional canvas painting, especially at West Covina High School. So we use containers that you could either put a lid on or that you could put tape on so that you can use the paint later if you have too much. This also works for cups or if you want to take a water bottle or half of a water bottle cutting it in half, you can use that as well to hold your paint. So take your paint and then we're going to add water to this. And we add water so that the paint can go further and we don't waste the paint. So we usually do about 85% paint and then 15% water. So we're going to first do painting solid letters. And so when you do painting letters for either posters, backdrops, or any kind of poster that needs letters, you want your letters to look good and look clean. So you don't want them to be stringy like the letters on the left. You want them to be thicker, solid, opaque, and have curved ends so that it looks neat, more so like the letters on your right. So blending is another key factor in leadership painting. We usually blend when we create backdrops or big banners that need to have items or characters on them. So I'm going to take the red, which is the top color, and put it on. Then I'm going to take yellow, which is the bottom color. So to blend them, you're going to move the yellow up and the red down so that you create this orange color. When you need to add more, you dot it so that you don't have as much waste. And then you continue to blend up and blend down until you have the color that you're satisfied with. So here's an example of blending. I'm going to blend a flower so that you can see how it creates more life, it makes the flower have more depth, and it makes it seem more like a real flower and not just two-dimensional. So I'm doing the same thing as I did with the red and orange, and I'm taking the white on top and the red on bottom, and I'm blending them together to get the pink. So now I have three shades of pink, a light pink, a medium pink, and a dark pink, almost red. So I take the white, blend it to the left, and then blend the red to the right. To add more paint, I dot it so that I don't use so much and it's not wasteful. I'm using three brushes because it's easier to be able to blend these colors easily without having to wash so many brushes. So I have one brush for the red, one brush for the white, and one brush to blend the two together. It also helps to have a cup of water next to you if you have too much paint on the brush and need to clean it. So I'm just going to continue this all the way around until my flower is complete. And as you can see, there's more depth to this flower and it doesn't look so two-dimensional. I then am going to take the center and also do the same thing, blending it with multiple colors so that it has more dimension, more depth, and it doesn't look so bland. So there you have it. Those are the basics to leadership painting.